Got ourselves team one together with Dark. Ooh. Over his unholy DK. We got Kali Maz as a Windwalker Monk. Wait, blind eye option? Is that what that is? That looks kind of awesome. I feel like for a monk, though, it would kind of be fitting. The man peace. Oh, uh, wait. Pace La. Pace La. Love you. Huh? Pace. Got himself the big Arlen. I still need to get this mount. It actually looks kind of cool. Has a ball in the between. Sure, a big old jelly. We got Snoo in here. As well as Wolfie as an enhancement chimpanzee. We got us a death machine over for the team, too. Literally named Death Machine with a big old Murloc in the back. We got us those Diabolicals as a warlock. We have Reverence as a destruction. Chicago as an enhancement chimpanzee. And we got ourselves Envy in the back. We got us as the boys that looks at Diabolical already gonna hit with a bitty B. Covered in that brew leg him his flesh cuff steel holding on strong. The death pack also providing them the cover. Fear trying to line up with a quick spear hand strike. Diabolical super low health actually could be in trouble. That's going to be a big old infernal coming down as he pops every defensive in the book. That's going to be extra health with a primordial trying to go for a chaos bolt so onto Kalimas, who is going to activate for brew just to give himself a little bit of defensive. The succubus going into the play. Quick intro on that. Oh, chaos bolt. And Kalimas just spin two wins versus the death. Death versus the warlock and the death knight is up next you ain't gonna back in good over here another one that's gonna be the grippy hand this color was trying to see if we can get out of here death machine charging after him looking to get up next to the guy and slam him down as call him as does escape the grip of death man the warlock i mean he was under a ton of pressure i don't know how you counter that like to be honest i don't know how you count that's just so much pressure for a monk you just rolled in, big bitty B, rotated all your defenses out for the guy. And then that spear hand strike with an interrupt at the last second when he's like, oh, there's no way I can reach you. Psych, quick interrupt, lock you out. You're just done. Shackles by Death Machine. Looks like Columbus is going to not cancel the Fist of Fury. It looks like he actually just ended up going for Defuse just to remove, just to reverse the chain. Death Machine taking a bit of damage. It looks like he's going to back up out of there. Does give himself as much self heal as he can and needs to start using a lot of the runic power for self healing. This call him as could pressure him with the Atmother Fits of Fury. Does Death Machine play Remorse as much as Stun? He has a silence for Call him as. No way to parry through. Karma is going to do damage to Death Machine. Does get kicked. I don't think it was going to touch of death. I think Call him as a save that touch of death. Or a little bit later. Second person going down, but he definitely gave him a hell of a run. That Fits of Fury, they'll lock you out on the heal when you need it. That is so. What's a good day, Dad? What's up, Joe Walker? How you doing, my man? Hope you're having a good one. Good luck and doze, everybody. Yo, Nye from the EU. Give everybody a good luck, good luck. Chicago looks like going to be up next. I think just waiting for Columbus to get up to him. I'm going to be trying to figure out who's going to be on the next on the team. Well, now Chicago has to fight. Now Chicago has to do it. Zuen charging out. BDB down on the side. Hopefully, he clips Chicago. Otherwise, for Columbus, it's going to be bad. Chicago with a massive chain. Harvest just recovered all the health loss, but still dropping. They might have to wall this off. This is going to be as much self-healing as they can with all the maelstrom generated from the ghost raptors and call him as back it up out of the heat of that hit and run strat. Walked in, did some damage. As soon as the cooldown's coming out, back up out of there, go for a reset, wait until their cooldowns are back. Because I guess Chicago, Chicago wants that sustained gameplay. They want to be able to stay up in the melee of call him as. They want to be able to just generate maelstrom and zap them down. Or rather in their situation, harvest them for all their worth. With chain harvest ability. Call him as wants to wait until they have Fist of Fury, until they have some cooldowns to really put some pressure into Chicago and get cooldowns one by one. Outside of that, not doesn't really want to engage with the shaman at all. Tiger's Fury just to get away, just waiting. AFK and recovering a little bit of health. Chicago charging out while in Ghost Wolf. And eventually should be able to catch up. Root by calling as doesn't mean he be legs It's gonna be mini tricking for Chicago with a wall. As Columbus goes in for that karma, Chicago needs a bit of Maelstrom, Chain Harvest to heal Chicago, but also burns right through that uh, karma. Stun onto Columbus. Maybe Chicago could do something off of this. Columbus, kind of healthy. Chicago's super low on health. Maybe could go for Ghost Wolves. Needs Maelstrom, plenty of mana. As long as they have the Maelstrom, they can heal themselves. There goes the healing. And Columbus, completely out of energy for a time being. But now that just use cooldowns, sitting while defenses are up as soon as four brews over. Rolled up out of there. With the flash cap to recover, maybe Chicago gets an interrupt last second, doesn't even go for it. Just lets it happen. Quick word by calling as again, just looking to uh, just kite Chicago as best as they can. Flesh cap though, feeling a little more confident while the shield is holding. And Chicago taking a bit of damn lockdown into Fist of Fury could be pretty bad for Chicago. Sunder to break apart the fist. Big spin for Kolimaz as they go for a diffuse magic. That's going to reduce a lot of that magic damage. Chicago Chain Harvest still allows quite a bit of healing. 
and Colomez backs up out of there for a sec again the hit run strat chicago is having to play into it as best as they can they just basically the only time they can interact with Colomez is whenever this monk has damage as the monk is cooking up another Zuen, gonna be a stun totem next to the monk. It's gonna get stunned up as Zuen joins in. Chicago able to disrupt the opener, able to at least generate a bit of maelstrom. Expecting a big BDB burst. That's gonna be Alexu, potentially big damage to Chicago. Could be big trouble. Trying to go for my healing wall, but a touch of death that was saved. Saved the touch of death as Chicago popped the wall and started healing him. So Colum has saw that the healing was gonna be huge. Touch of death just to eliminate him. With Anvi up next, an assassination rogue. Open it up with a Garode ambush. It's a Colum as. Let's try to get the spikes in. So far, Kalimaz has been just tearing through a team. Going to be getting shot to follow. It's going to be quite a bit of bleeds on Kalimaz. As no vendetta used by Envy just yet. Just goes for a faint death with the Karma. As he's trying to oh, cloak of shadows and burn through our Karma. Kalimaz does have good Karma. Getting him back up to full. So he's not playing Ring of Peace. Evasion for the Rogue and Kalimaz backs up out of there. This is where Envy might need to set up a big kind of shot with a vendetta onto Kalimaz before that trigger comes back in six seconds. Envy getting hit with an in-cap. Colomaz is trying to see if he can buy himself some time until he gets some cooldowns. Diffuse magic is going to help against the poison damage here, as well as in Venoms. Uh, Karma in just a little bit. Hopefully, it should be helpful too. Cheap shot by Envy with a Garot. Looking to get the bleeds up onto Colomaz. Let's go for a Vendetta. Looks like he's just trying to build the comp points. Colomaz is getting blood up. Quick flash gun by the rogue. The monk wanted to kind of start walking in the direction, but he just let it happen. He needs to recover. He needs to wait and buy time for cooldowns. That's going to be an interrupter. Colomaz does get a full flesh craft off, though. So, Envy could be in trouble here. Next, Lexu could be pretty bad. Does have a chicken for a BDB. Envy could vanish out of this if he wanted to. Colomaz trying to get some damage in with that BDB. He's getting quite a few hits. Kidna shot, Vendetta, Trinket for Colomaz. Does not have a combo for a bit. Could go for Diffuse Magic. Should go for Diffuse Magic. Getting some counter pressure with the images. Looking to kick down the rogue. The rogue has a blind vanish and everything. Does he just go? He just keeps burning. He just keeps stabbing at the monk until he takes him out. Trying to rip right through the monk. It does take him down. With Shu Snoo coming out. <laughs> a little bit of a different name. Shu and Snoo. But he's going to be up next. And he does hold on to a vanish. Maybe potentially a shadow melt. Potentially a blind. Definitely blind, definitely vanished. Potentially shot him out. Not sure if they got to use it yet or not. Snoo just unable to get that opener. It is a Necrolord Demon Hunter. They are tanky. Immediately trinketing out of the cheap shot. Quick blind into a blind Demon Hunter. Like when Demon Hunters get blinded by Rogue, do they just like pretend like, oh no, I can't see it. Wait, that's basically my life. Like, do they just like pretend to waddle around like, oh no, I am definitely blinded. Because they're literally blind to begin with. Snoo unleashing a pressure onto Envy. I don't know if this rogue survives this. Barely gets a health increase. He does go for a warlock health and I think with a, a bit of a, 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 a... I think with a battle master trick, it has a kid to shot ready for Snoo. Has an evasion afterwards. As long as Snoo does not have a stun, which is magical. You can't dodge that one. Envy just trying to hit him with the slows and let it the dodge do work. He just tried to kite him out. Wait, Snoo could be in trouble. Oh no. Snoo trying to get an angle. He needs that stun. He has a full bar of fury. He's ready to go. Stone into Envy, no check it out for it. Big IB and potentially big damage. It's gonna be demon spawning in. Eliminating the demon. Taking him out with reverence. The last one holding on for the team too. Just trying to see if they might be able to hold off for the team. That's gonna be big chaos ball getting set up as Snoo. Walking over the succubus. That's gonna be a stun to follow with yet another chaos ball. Snoo with another fear. But the decimated ball setting up a reverence. Potentially big damage with an emulate. As reverence gets interrupted with a stun. I think it might have been a short stun and tricking it out of it. Try not to get interrupted by Snoo. That's gonna be the demon spawning in. Snoo will be able to kill the demon to heal himself. Bonds are fell into demon hunter. But he is not going anywhere. He keeps Revens in place. Revens needs to pour it out of there or something. It is gonna pour it out of there. Snoo with the flesh cut, but cancels it. I'm not sure why. Because Revens can't interrupt it. Wait, and that's gonna be Infernal dropping it on his head with the is trying to set up for Revens. But there's a big damage darkness. Is that gonna be enough to keep him alive? I have to try to see if he can survive Revens with a succubus walking him in the direction. But Snoo is the news. Trying to fight through the succubus's magics. Trying to fight through the succubus's ways, but unable to resist. Revens cooking up a big chaos bolt. Snoo dies behind the pillar, charges out to see if a stun to follow him. Revens could be in big trouble. In prison for a second. Does Snoo have enough to survive this? And potentially, it's gonna be both a super low. Snoo with no help whatsoever. Disengage in stunning on reverence full of rush run through oh my goodness my god this demon hunter lived hey pretty good with Coley going for three kills demon hunter finish it off for that team envy making sure to take the monk and gut him out of the arena that's a good first duel of the day boys let's get these boys in here again yeah they gotta give it another go let's get it in here again boys